guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Just wanted to do a little quick review, impressions, on a documentary I saw the other night from the 90s called American Movie. So my buddy Chris from Wisconsin asked me if I ever saw this movie. He said he's seen it over a hundred times and he just throws it on sometimes and like falls asleep to it. So first and foremost, I would like to say that there's definitely a correlation between people from northern Wisconsin and Canada. I hear a dialect or some kind of accent that sounds similar to me. And I hear Pickles the drummer from Death Clock. You douchebags. So that's the first thing I want to get out of the way. The documentary is about this um, filmmaker named Mark, and I'm going to butcher his last name because I'm not good with these types of names, types of names, uh, Borshart, Borshnart, something like that, and his friend Mike Shank. And, <laughs> oh Jesus, where do I start? Um, Mark is like borrowing money from his elderly uncle, trying to do a short film so that if the short film sells well enough, um, I think the magic number is 3,000 films for $14.95 a piece, he will then be able to make his you know, feature film Northwest, I believe it's called, or Northwestern. This movie was made back in, if I recall, I want to say it was 99 or 98, and Northwest still has not been made. So the uncle that he actually borrows the money from eventually leaves him because he's elderly, he passes away, spoiler alert, he leaves him like 50 grand when he dies. And this movie still hasn't been made. He has a couple things that are in production or, or whatever that have still not been made. Um, but this short film, uh, Coven, or as he says, Coven, has been made. Uh, that's on YouTube, it's online, you can see it. And he did, uh, he did make his short 35 minute film. So, this is like the trials and tribulation. This is him and his family, um, his dad helping him out and his mom helping him out splice film together and getting his friends to act in the movie, having auditions, um, you know, kind of doing this film on the balls of their ass, so to speak, with like hardly any budget, just filming his family members and like with weird, you know, um, clips and then Sometimes if he doesn't get the clip correctly or if it's too low, he does, I, I can't think of what the term is in the movie industry, but um, he does audio-visual samples afterwards and puts them, like overdubs them into the film. Um, the, movie's a, the movie he's making, the short film, Coven, is a, um, or Coven, see, is a black and white thriller horror movie. Um, it was actually pretty good. I was impressed at what he pulled off at his angles that he used, um, the feelings of like dread and, and um, sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Like ambiguity from the movie, like you don't you feel kind of uneasy in, in areas. Um, but it was a pretty cool short film. I would say it's worth checking out, it's online. And um, he hasn't really done too much afterwards, but it's all about him making this film his friends, especially Mike Shank, are very funny and quotable. Uh, Mike seems to have done a lot of drugs over the years, so he's a little like goofier in ways, um, while Mark is sort of pushy, and he's always like, come on, man, we gotta do this, that's stupid, man, why are we, and he's just like constantly like rambling about what he wants and what should be and what shouldn't be, and he's like very demonstrative about it, but in like a sort of Wisconsin accent, semi goofy way while his buddy Mike the guy who was on drugs tells all these weird stories about like when he was on drugs and the people he's met and you know he does like voiceover work and acting for this film uh, this short film uh, Coven and he uh, he's I don't know if I can even do an impersonation but he sounds exactly like exactly like if you've ever watched the Sasquatch gang uh, I think it's Joey Kearns is uh, the friend of Justin Long in the movie, and he he based I think this imitation on Mike Shank. So it's like, um, hey hey guys, yeah, this is what uh, is going on here. Yeah, today today I really like this this weather. Like just very like high pitched and low, 
weird interjections and weird stops and pauses between speech. So, um, it's like a real funny cast of characters that are trying to help Mark make this film, uh, you know, make his dream a reality. And as I said, he's still making movies. Um, I could see there's definitely humor in this documentary. It really speaks uh, volumes about friendship and, and what these people are willing to do to go out of the way to help their buddy, especially Mike, helping Mark, the main guy, uh, make this movie, make this documentary. And um, it's just the cast of characters and the, and the, the humor is so weird. It, it's sort of reminiscent of something like Napoleon Dynamite, which is funny because the producer or director or something of Napoleon Dynamite made Sasquatch Gang, in which Joey Kearns sounds like Mike Shank from this movie. So it's sort of all incestuous, you know, it ties in. But if you can track down this movie, it's, it's all over the internet at this point. Um, I would say to give it a watch. Beth isn't a big fan of Napoleon Dynamite or that dry kind of goofy humor. Um, Gentlemen Broncos or, or Sasquatch Gang, but she actually like was watching some of this and like kind of shaking her head and chuckling. Um, it shows you the human side of you know film creation, but everyone is just so silly and, and offbeat that it almost seems fake at first. But initially, when you're watching it, you're like, these people can't be real. Is this really how these people are? You know, especially because I'm from New York. Uh, not the city anymore, but people like this aren't, they're like eclectic sort of, or eccentric in a way, and you don't see them often, and they don't have these accents and these kind of weird <laughs> ways about them, so to see them like this, like so kind of funny and easygoing, it, it's just amusing. So uh, thank you, Chris, for telling me about American Movie. I would definitely recommend it to people who like dry, weird humor and interesting movies or interesting documentaries about movies. Um, and then I would in turn, as a companion piece, check out Coven, which sounds a lot like Oven, um, which is also online. I think that's on YouTube as well. So yeah, that, that was my little spiel. Uh, everyone and their mother has seen this film, it seems, because when I've mentioned it to people, everyone's like, oh yeah, I've seen that. And I'm like, why didn't I hear about this? So check it out, guys. Let me know if you have seen American Movie, what you think, and um, leave your favorite quotable line down in the comments. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.